Hi, my name is Ollie. I'm from the Headmasters Pro Session team. This is my lovely friend Katie here and I want to demo three beautiful looks that you can wear with short hair. I think one of the main problems that people have with committing themselves to short haircuts is they feel like they're limited about what they can do with it. There's three essential tools you need to be able to achieve these looks. The first one is a small tong, some small grips, and thirdly, a pastiche brush. For all these looks, I've prepped Katie's hair with some Paul Mitchell Super Sculpt, and I've cocktailed my Super Sculpt with some Super Skinny Serum. This just adds a little bit of shine to the hair. So my first look I'm working on is a 60s inspired Ed Sedgwick feel. We're going to keep this flat, smooth fringe, but we're going to build height into the crown area here. So we're working a teardrop section through the top of her hair. So my point is just finishing as the head moves around to the back. So where her jawline is going to finish with the hair. So I'm just going to separate the hair within that teardrop and clip the hair out of the way. Open the clamp of the tongue and catch the end of the hair and smooth it to the ends and then roll it down to the root. Leave for a few seconds, so making sure the heat penetrates through the hair, and let go. Take your second section, again, clipping the hair out of the way, so you're only focusing on the area you need to tong. Taking your tong and clamping it into the middle of the hair, and then move the tong around with the hair so you're starting to work that movement in and again roll that down. And then finally, with your last section, taking your tong and pinching the hair and rolling it back down. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do the final touches to the look. Making sure the hair's tucked behind the ears, putting a bit of spray on the end really helps smooth that hair into place. And then just use the spray to let it set into place. To finish off the fringe, I'm just going to run the irons over the hair. So as I pull the irons through, I'm just going to bend slightly so the ends kick in. And then I'm just going to finish off with some foaming pomade, just to catch again those little wandy areas through the front. And there we go. It's my finished 60s inspired look. Okay, so I'm going to show you my second look. I want to create a finger wave, but make it more on trend. So I'm going to take a section through the top here. We've already got our parting in place, and I'm just going to take this section through the top of the hairline here, up to the crown. You can see I'm literally just going to work through this panel here. I'm just going to clip this section out. So now, before I work on this area, I want to make sure the hair around the sides is nice and finished. With my pastiche brush, again, I'm just going to comb through, tuck the hair behind the ears, and I'm going to again get some foaming pomade on there just to give a little bit of hold and a little bit of smoothness. And just tuck the hair behind the ear so we get a nice, clean finish. So I'm splitting my section into two and clipping one right out of the way. Taking my section into my fingers, taking my tong, pinching the hair, and twisting it down to the root again. And then release. Push the hair flat onto the scalp. And with your trusty clip, hold that in place. Take your second section and do exactly the same. It's really important that you let the hair cool down, probably about a minute, but until it's cool to touch, and then you know your hair's ready to dress out. Release your curls, let the hair come out, but then you need to coax it into position. And then just push the hair into place to create the rest of your finger wave. So using my Paul Mitchell Super Clean Spray, I'm just gonna spray that on top to let that take hold. Okay, so this is my cute little take on the 20s finger wave, but bringing it up to date and making it more modern and wearable. Okay, so I'm working on my final look now. I want to show you how to do a quiff, but make it cool and make it more rockabilly. Again, working with very similar sectioning with the previous look. So we're keeping that top section 
isolated. Make sure the sides and the back are dressed beautifully with a bit of foaming pomade. Again, just to make sure you've got a nice clean finish with the ends of the hair and that it contrasts beautifully with the quiff that we're about to create. Because we've got the parting coming over this way, we want to make sure we're working with the parting that we've got. So I'm going to be taking slightly diagonal sections for my tongue winding. My first section, we're going to work a 10 pence diameter so we can fit into the tongue. Using my pastiche brush just to brush through to make sure I've got all those ends going in the right direction. And exactly the same as before, clamping the tongue in, pulling the tongue slightly forward so when you roll back, the tongue sits directly onto that section. So I'm just going to take my tongue, place it onto the hair and wind down directly on top of that section so the root lift comes from the front there. And then you're going to work your next section, 10 pence diameter again. And tongue forward. I'm taking my third section, exactly the same as the previous section, slightly over direct so that you're coming towards your parting. Came your section and pull it towards the parting. So final section, we're just winding the tongue in just to make sure we get a bend in the hair, but we also get height that we require to give this rockabilly look. And all you need to do now, with your fingers, pull and comb through. taking small sections and just putting a little bit of back comb in there so you get a nice bit of hold. So here's my final look, my rockabilly quiff. It's really cool, really undone, but it gives you that kind of soft feel to the hair, but still looks really dynamic.